A key to the effectiveness of brief interventions is that they are matched to a person's stage of change. But what does that mean? Let's look at Mel again and consider this in terms of the model of the stages of change. Hi, I'm John Marsden. I'm one of the co-developers of the Alcohol, Smoking and Substance Involvement Screening Test developed for the World Health Organization, which assesses the risks associated with drug and alcohol use. The stage of change model developed by Prochaska and DiClemente provides a useful framework for understanding the process of behavior change. And this is important when we consider how ready somebody is to make alterations to their substance use. The assist-linked brief intervention aims to help people as they move through one or more changes. So let's take a closer look at Mel's journey in relation to this model. We could see that Mel was in the pre-contemplation stage when she was out happily drinking with her friends. Many people who are seen in the primary care setting are likely to be in this stage. In Mel's case, we saw the nurse focus on raising Mel's awareness of the risks related to her current pattern of consumption. The nurse reflected on the issues raised by Mel and provided brief advice and take-home information. But has it made any difference? Let's check in on Mel one week later. How did your shots go? Mm. Fine, it ate for a little while, but it's fine now. That's good. Mm. Oh, that's enough for me, thanks. Why? Oh, we've got that early morning meeting. I don't want to have a big night. It's not very much. It's about one standard drink. Uh, are you pregnant? No. Oh, no, no. Just when I went to see the nurse, he was saying that actually one standard drink is only 100 mils of wine. So you guys have got about two or three standard drinks there. Mel had obviously done some preparation before she went out this time, as she'd planned to limit her alcohol intake. Mm. Oh, that's enough for me, thanks. We could see Mel was actively doing something about changing when she told her friends she didn't want to have a big night. Mel has put her decision to cut back into action. This can be a difficult time for people and encouragement and support will help to maintain their decision. So this is a great start and time will tell whether Mel will keep up the change. There is always the possibility of a relapse back to old behavior. The key to avoiding relapse is to identify high risk situations and have strategies for managing them. A lapse is a normal part of behavior change. The key is to recognize it early and get back on track. The interactive on the stages of change provides an overview of this model applied to substance use. The aim of the screening is to identify those at risk of harms for their drug use. The aim of the associated brief intervention is to motivate progression through the stages of change and connect it to an appropriate intervention. Awareness of the stages of change supports tailoring of the approach to the individual.